So here we are again. This is Professor Hartley, and unless I think of something else, this will be the final uh, tutorial for embedding documents and files into your blogger page. Uh, we haven't really gone over you know, exactly why you would want to do all these things. We can do that later, but uh, I just wanted to go through all the various things you can do. And for this one, we're going to be working with the Google Map function. So let's get into our file again, and let me get, uh, I wasn't in the browser yet, so edit, and we will be working in the HTML, but for right now, go back to compose, just to get ourselves visually oriented. And here's what we've done so far. We got the uh, uh, PDF, the PowerPoint, and the Word document, uh, loaded in with iframe and that's exactly what we're going to do with Google Maps uh, it goes a little differently though so let's take a look at that I will uh, I won't update yet because we haven't made any significant changes uh, let me open a new tab and uh, we'll just type uh, for let's just type in Athens Ohio into Google and since Google basically owns the world now, uh, it immediately brings you up to a Google Maps uh, option here. So you click on the map section over to the right. And you've got this overview, you know, bringing us from Chansey, the Plains, and so on. And just double click, and it will bring you zooming in you know, wherever uh, the center of the image is. So let's uh, drag this over so that we can get set up. So here's Jackie O's Public House and Brew Pub, uh, East Union Street, Court Street, University Terrace. So Ellis Hall, the home of the English department is right here. We're in an online class, so we're not actually meeting in the building, but you know, were we to be in a class together physically rather than virtually uh, that's where it would be happening so let's uh, first of all zoom in another moment and I was double clicking to zoom but if you single click uh, uh, notice that I've got this little arrow here and uh, okay I don't normally do this but let me find location sharing share or embed map let's see what I, I think this didn't work well no it doesn't this isn't giving us so uh let's uh oh over here i i, I have the grayed out little circle and if i click on here i don't do this very often so i'm just trying to now we've got uh, a specific location here 44 through 98 university terrace uh, and under this menu over here, all these little stacked up lines, it's called the hamburger menu, uh, uh, will give you this option, share or embed map down here. So you click on that. Now you've got a link that you can copy. You can, oh, oh wait, no, that's just to send a link to somebody in email uh, or, or a text or so. What we want is embed a map. And just as before, uh, uh, you know, with the other documents, we were given some code. Here is the code up here. And you can also see the map uh, just to make sure that's what you want. So you can just click into it once, or you can press on the copy HTML. It doesn't really matter. Uh, uh, as long as you remember, if you're doing it, clicking in, you Command C or Control C, depending on your platform. Let's just do copy HTML. And we won't close out yet, just to make sure things are happening the way we want. And remember, you don't paste this into the Compose view, because it won't actually function. It'll just be something to look at, but not something operative. We come down to here. We'll leave it right here. Right now, I'm only using one uh, line break uh, for, for each of these, so we'll keep that consistent. And I will just paste in the information or command V, control V, depending on whether you're in a Mac or a PC, update. 
Now let's go back to our page. And right now I haven't reloaded the page, so all we have is the original text. Let's reload. And here's our map. Here's Jackie O's. And if we uh, scroll down here, uh, here's the location. 44 to 98 University Terrace. Uh, and so on. Uh, so that's bringing our embedding tutorials to a close, unless I think of something else. You can do this with Excel programs, as uh, I mean files, as I mentioned. That would uh, most likely, I haven't done it, but uh, work in exactly the same way as the uh, PowerPoint and Word documents because Excel is another Microsoft program, and I'm guessing that your OneDrive uh, place would be a good place to store these. If you have your own um, server and your own website set up already, uh, that then you could have the option of just directly saving all these files into your server and not having to worry about the one drive. But for the uh, resources available to you as a student, I believe anyway, uh, you might as well stick with one drive for the purposes of our course. So that's it for the embedding section. I'll go on with uh, how to uh, use your cell phones, your iPads, and so on. Uh, uh, in order to work with the same blogging uh, functions. All right.